Hello folks and welcome to the Junkyard Tailgate channel. I've been researching some options for flagpoles and flags recently. So I began to look at what my criteria was for buying a flagpole and flag. Number one, I wanted to make sure that it was made in the US of A. Number two, I wanted it to uh, last through the seasons of time. So I came across a company called Atlantic Flag and Pole. And they're located out of New York and they resell uh, flagpoles from Phoenix Flagpole. And they're actually manufactured in Idaho, I believe. And number one, I learned they're made out of aluminum, American aluminum, by Americans in Idaho. So right away, it perked my interest. And number two, I noticed that their flagpoles were coated with an anodized coating, which is guaranteed to last for life for the pole. And then number three, I like the fact that their flags they supply are made in the USA. So after my research, I decided to place an order. I placed my order and Bethany took great care of me and made sure my order was placed on time and delivered on time. So I'm gonna show you what I received and how my installation process went. So my grandfather served in World War I I had a couple of uncles that served in World War II. As a matter of fact, one living uncle that served in World War II. My father served in the Korean conflict, as did my stepfather. I also have a couple of nieces and nephews that are uh, in the active forces today. So at this juncture in our American history, I thought it appropriate to purchase and install this flagpole and flag. So I purchased a 20-foot flagpole with a 4x6 flag. As I said before, it is anodized. So in this kit, you get a flag, some instructions, the flagpole, and you get the flagpole base that goes into the ground that goes into concrete. And as I've said before, they do sell accessories. I bought with this a, a round ball, a uh, finial that goes on the top of the pole. But every flagpole does come with a ground sleeve. It also comes with some really detailed instructions. These instructions tell you what tools you're going to need uh, and what depth the ground sleeve needs to be installed into the ground and concrete, what diameter that hole should be, and so on. Here's a diagram of what we're going to try to achieve, 28 inches deep by 14 inches in diameter with some gravel in the bottom. Lastly, you get a warranty card, which I like. So it's important to decide where to place the uh, flagpole on your property. Unfortunately, there was a, a shrub about the area that we thought the flagpole would look nice in. So that's okay. We removed the shrub and replanted it somewhere else. I use the ground sleeve as a method of just a rough measurement to get the hole approximately where we needed to be. So after some digging and using some American muscle, uh, we were able to get the uh, hole as deep as we needed it, about 28 inches, and then to the diameter we needed it. Next, we need to put some gravel in the bottom of the hole to drain the water uh, out of the ground sleeve and make sure it didn't have any freezing problems. So there you go. We've got the gravel on the ground. Next, I mix the concrete in a five gallon bucket there and uh, pretty easy. Put about 240 pounds of sackcrete in the ground there and uh, that should make a really nice installation. I used the pole to help me level the ground sleeve before the concrete dried. And so there you go a Phoenix flagpole. I think I'm gonna like it. 